Alrighty, now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and show you that I'm only moderately higher level than before. Also, um, for whatever reason, the tent didn't heal Marcus, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, marginally higher level than before, I have uh, learned some abilities on, obviously, Dagger and Steiner because... Got menus, whatever. Learn some abilities in Dagger and Steiner, Marcus can't learn any abilities. Um, there is a specific mob that spawns down here. It gives 160 XP each. And the first one gives two, I think it's like one and a half AP per or something stupid like that, but if you fight one, you get two AP. If you fight two, you get three AP. Which is still pretty good. Uh, but mostly it's that 160 XP per, and they're not particular in particularly intimidating enemies. I'll show you them in a minute here. I may have screwed up Mognet at some point, hopefully I haven't. Um, considering I can't give this mail to anybody. Mochos, I'll have to look that up when I'm done recording today. Might be too late to fix that, but I can just cheat my way through. I probably shouldn't do that, but anyway. Um, the enemy that I'm talking about is a worm. And if you, if you stay in this area, where this Moogle is, it is, as far as I'm aware, the only enemy that will actually spawn. If you walk outside, there are other enemies that can spawn that give less experience. But here's the worm things. They have a stomach attack and a basic attack. And as you can see, they're not particularly intimidating. They, the stomach attack does a fair amount of damage, unfortunately, but... Given the experience gain you get off of them, it's uh, a very, very efficient place to grind. But there you go, 320 XP. Steiner learned to level up, so that's a thing, and I should probably check his equipment and figure out why he had something that was learning to level up. Oh, it was the helmet. Take the helmet off, put the barbet on, and uh, heal everyone up, and then I'm just gonna turn off encounters because. That's really the only encounter here that I wanted to mention, was those uh, worm things are a very good grinding location. Grinding enemy. But anyway, in order to activate the sequence trigger, I believe we have to go to the left first. Pick up some items out here. The other enemy that spawns out here is like a... dragonfly-looking-esque thing. I'm not actually entirely sure what it is, but it gives way less experience and is probably about the same difficulty to kill, so there's really no reason to fight anything, if possible, outside of whatever spawns in this save room here. Otherwise, it is not worth the time nor hassle to do so, but anyway, there it is. What do you mean? Gog and Rue Trino Station shaped like a circle. Indeed. Will you pull the lever? And do I have to? This is a Goggin. I think I did this technically backwards. No, I didn't. It's fine. I think we needed to pull that and actually get over there. So here's the, the, it says feed on the wall, you probably noticed, and a very strange font. Is that food? Might be food. Either way, it's a very strange font, it's difficult to read, but he says, where was that lever? It's right here. I don't know how he misses all these levers all the time, but whatever. This conveniently lowers down a thing of food, and the gargant is like, by god, food. What do I do with this food? I'll tell you what I do with this food. I split this video because I need to check something, as I want to do in the middle of recording lately. By the way, don't don't listen to Dr. Two. He doesn't know what he's on about. Dr. Toofus. Um, this thing eats forever. Hurry up, Steiner, we don't have all day. And here's the important line of dialogue here. Please make your own decision. Oh, 
Also, I would like to point out that Steiner walks through the carriage and then stands like clipped inside of it very awkwardly and then this happens which is even weirder. It's an old game to be fair. There's some uh, things that could could have used some work. And we're off. I believe this dumps us off close to Alexandria, but not like in Alexandria. I can't exactly remember. Exclamation point. decides to leave and over here is a very strange looking snake could this be the reason no you know the snakes just hanging out it's not gonna do anything as is tradition with ff9 we have to spend a billion turns trying to steal from it unfortunately so and I don't think we have the ability to AoE shell and protect quite yet, unfortunately. I wonder if you can silence this thing, actually. I know you can slow it, but unfortunately we do not have the capability to slow things, so... Considering that missed, I'm just going to assume we can't actually do that. Apparently it can also slow. This is unfortunate. Is Panacea what I want? I think it's Panacea. No. Thought Panacea was like fix everything, but nope. He's just slowed forever. Oh yeah, you need haste to counter that, don't you? You know if Shell and Protect lasted longer, I'd be more inclined to actually use Shell and Protect. Well, we already stole two items, so. That's a poison, isn't it? I thought that was a poison. Maybe it is a poison and it's just not a guaranteed poison, I'm not sure. It doesn't have anything, so we already stole both of the items. So we can just uh, fast forward the rest of this fight because it's just a spank and bank. And if you did any grinding at all earlier, this is a fairly simple spank and, sp spank and bank. This is, this is not the term I meant to use, but apparently that's what we're rolling with. But anyway, if you did any grinding earlier, this is a fairly easy fight. If you didn't, this could be a very long fight. There he goes. And he just runs away. Unfortunately, we do not get the kill, but you know. I believe it's scripted to run away, so you can't pass it. I don't... Well, maybe you could kill it if you were uh, cheating and doing 10k damage, but I think it might just flee anyway and you wouldn't get credit. I'm not sure. Where are we? Oh no, this, put, this puts you straight in the castle, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I remember now. It must be. There's literally only one way to go, obviously. I know this place. They built this place to keep enemies from invading, Dr. Tot also said. And then of course Steiner, being the idiot that he is, decides to interrupt. And Marcus, of course, is not helping because of his desire to help Blank, but whatever. Well, that's not good at all. Oh. Probably should have fled. Hello, Zorn. Hello, Thorn. Our good old friends. Hey, we're under arrest now. Mm -hmm. 
What? And for some reason, this is the one bit of dialogue that you cannot skip. It also takes ages for it to actually continue the freaking di the uh, cutscene there. Not the dialogue, but whatever. And now we're back to our other squad here. Which gets to see the bad side of Queen Bronze plans. You coming, Vivi? Of course. And of course, Kino wants to just eat everything. The desert west of Bermisha. We can, in fact, enter the town because it's required to progress the story, and if we couldn't, it'd be a little bit difficult. Where are you, Dagger? I wish to speak with you. Apparently I'd still have my chocobo left way over there. I'm glad it keeps track of that stuff. That twister always looks weird. Tornado, whatever you want to call it. It always looks strange. I don't think there's anything of note around Clara. This is this beach, which is where you would land if you had a boat, but we do not have a boat, so that is irrelevant. But I don't think there's anything out here except for this town, which that is the town, by the way. Something to point out. There it is. Enter with B as I hit nothing. I always thought it was really weird. How quite clearly windy it is, because look at those trees. Those trees are vibrating like no one's business. But nobody in this party is reacting to the wind at all. Not even Vivi's hat, who, I would like to point out, has held his hat down before. From, from wind. But not here, no. This is, this is not windy enough to carry his extraordinarily heavy hat, apparently. Anyway, here's Clara. I always liked the, because the backgrounds were static, I always liked the transition between cutscenes and backgrounds in the original game because they were basically identical quality. It always looked really nice. Pull this lever. There you go, opens the door. There's a tutorial of this area. Levers do things. I should probably re-enable random encounters just frankly because we haven't been here before, so. I don't think there's anything of note. Well, actually, we may as well put the chain plate on. You can't learn anything from those boots. And you're still learning from the lightning staff, so that doesn't do any good. And you can't wear any helmets for whatever reason. Or a chainmail for bird killer. Bird killer is actually uh, useful here, so. Jelly is useful everywhere, basically. At status, we may as well learn. Even though I don't remember any statuses being on Kina's weapons, but it's a thing to have anyway, so... Um, I don't think we need Undead Killer here. I'll put that on. Alert, I think, just means, yeah, we can't get back attacked, which is really nice to have, but... You don't have a lot of spare AP in the early game, so... If you can get someone who's not using a lot of skills to have it, it's pretty good to use. We'll put bird killer on because I believe there is a bird enemy in this area that's relatively difficult to kill. It was nice to be prepared. Anyway, this is this is basically like the ice caverns except full of sand. So basically, it's the sand caverns. There's a Moogle here at some point too. Also, that treasure chest which contains an ice staff. I'm glad I purchased an ice staff earlier. God dang it. We can climb up here. I don't remember exactly what direction we're supposed to be going. This goes nowhere, as it turns out. I think that is for another time. 
because that place does fill with sand, so. Excuse me. An ether. An item that I'll never use. And of course, because there's a suspicious hole here and we can't see anything inside of it, what do we do but stick our hand in the hole like an idiot? Conveniently enough, that hole contains a lever. Which means now we can go here. No, not there. That's not where I meant to go. There we go. Oh, climb the thing. There we go. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. Because there's no, um... I don't know, my analog controller or whatever. It's just eight directional movement. It's a little finicky sometimes. It's alright, though. So much treasure in this place, it's kind of ridiculous. Also, I'd like to point out we haven't gotten a random encounter, and random encounters are enabled. I don't have the option for that to be turned off right now. Who are you? Hey, it's Monet. Thanks for delivering the mail from Atla. You're welcome. Strange people came into town and destroyed the entire place. Are we going to be okay here? Well, I mean, you have the, uh, the sandstorm protecting you, so you should be fine, right? Right. Right. Um, I think that's the way we're supposed to go, yeah. Excuse me? Here, oh, no? That's not... There we go. <laughs> Didn't want to go up that way, but... Right. And, of course, we get a flame staff, which is the other staff that I just purchased, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. We have duplicates now, in case they ever synthesize into something useful, which I think they might. Not sure, though. This place does have random encounters, I swear. I don't have any idea what happened to them, but it does. Is there another chest back here? There's a lot of chests, apparently. Good old mithril gloves. I don't remember the direction we're supposed to be going. If I'm going to be honest here. Hey, we actually got a random encounter. I was beginning to think I'd broken the game somehow. Oh yeah, I forgot about this, dude. Hello. So this is a sand golem. I hate fighting a sand golem. Let's cast Thundar because I can. You have to hit the core, which I think knocks him down or something. Not entirely sure. Unfortunately, however, he counters every time you hit the core, so he's a remarkably annoying enemy. It's probably the worst enemy you could fight in this area, if I'm not mistaken, because of that counter. Because unfortunately, it's counter all, not just counter physical. Which sucks. If we get into a few more, uh, I really don't remember which way we're supposed to be going. If we get into a few more encounters, I will turn off random encounters after that, because I try and minimize the amount of time spent on camera in these uh, encounters. By the way, I would like to point out how they did the uh, sand right there. You notice the sand next to the treasure chest completely cuts off the treasure chest. Oh, nope, that just sends me back around here. This sends me down here. Is there anything down here? Is this where I'm supposed to be? There's a treasure chest up there. Okay, now that's flooded that side. So now we can go over there to pick up that treasure chest. It looks like there was just two paths over here and that opened up one of them. Yeah, so the left path is the direction we must go. What does this contain? An elixir. Well, elixirs are really good, so... That was worth the hassle. Although I believe there's a way to get elixirs later. Now this part, I've never managed to do properly. There's a, a, a bunch of treasure chests around here. And they're very, yeah, very difficult to get to. Mash the B button. Now he will jump out the direction he's facing, so you can theoretically time it so that he jumps out. I think he jumps the direction he's facing. 
He could just... Nope, there we go. And I don't know how it works, to be honest. I thought he jumped out the direction he was facing, but he seems to just jump out. Randomly or something? I don't know, maybe it depends on the direction you were coming from. Either way, we're basically at the end of this area. I mean, we do have to climb a tree, so it is a, a bit of a long area, but it's not too bad. I think this is the top, actually. Not the top top, but yeah, the town. The settlement of Clara. Hello. Indeed I am, Lady Freya. Why not take this chance to rest? Yeah, good idea. You quickly explore the town. Allow me to be your guide. Actually, we may as well do that, but as is tradition, I need to stop the recording for a moment. <laughs> 